Class 1 Loops You have learned how flurb spells different words by moving flurb in the crossword. You have learned how you can go left, right, up and down. Let's see what you are going to do today. Let's talk about the new word of the day. Loop. Can you say it with me? L O O P. Loop. It means doing something over and over again. Now, let's do a simple activity to understand loop. Can you clap your hands once? Clap your hands one more time. And again, clap your hands once. Good. Now, instead of asking you to clap every time, can I just say it once? Yes. Clap your hands three times. Very good! Let's loop some more. Clap your hands four times. Good! We just clapped our hands four times in a loop. It means we clapped four times without stopping. Now let's clap in a loop for two times. If you want to repeat an action or do something over and over again, it is also called looping. If we know the number of times an action is to be done, then we just say, repeat the action that many times or loop for that many times. For example, if you want to clap for four times continuously, we say clap in a loop for four times. Let's talk about what else goes in a loop. Have you ever been on a merry-go-round or a ferris wheel? You must have sat on it and gone round and round waving to your mommies or daddies every time you pass them. Every time you wave to them, you completed one loop on the merry-go-round. You must have done many loops on the merry-go-round. Wasn't that a lot of fun? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. Round and round the wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all through the town. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 the horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all through the town. The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut, all through the town. The driver on the bus says, move on back, move on back. Move on back. The driver on the bus says, Move on back all through the town. The baby on the bus says, Wah, 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 wah. The baby on the bus says, Wah, 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 all through the town. The mommy on the bus says, Shh, shh, shh. The mommy on the bus says shh shh shh. 
all through the town. Count and perform. Look at the picture of the lady clapping her hands. Let's clap with her and count how many times she claps. If you said three, that's correct. Now, let's look at the picture of the lady putting her hands on her head and then on her waist. Let's see how many times she repeats this set of actions. Hands on her head, hands on her waist. Hands on her head, hands on her waist. She does the actions two times. Now look at the picture of the lady trying to do a dance like a robot. Left hand up, right hand up. She repeats these actions many times. Let's count and see how many times she does this set of actions. Left hand up, right hand up. Left hand up, right hand up. Left hand up, right hand up. She does the actions three times. Let's dance. We are going to do the steps done by the lady in the pictures. Hands on your head, hands on your waist. We repeat these steps two times. We clap for three times. We do the robot dance steps, left hand up, right hand up, two times. We end by clapping three times. Are you ready? Let's start. Hands on your head, hands on your waist. Hands on your head, hands on your waist. Clap, clap, clap. Left hand up, right hand up. Left hand up, right hand up. Clap, clap, clap. Wonderful dancing. Let's do some drawing in our notebooks. Look at the stick figure showing hands on the head dance move. The other stick figure shows hands on the waist. Can you draw some more stick figures showing the dance moves we did in the last slide? Let's see what we have learned today. We now know what is a loop. It means doing something over and over again. We can spot loops. We can count the number of times an action is done in a loop. We can also do the actions in a loop. That was a lot of learning. Are you ready to do the worksheet?